Hello, this is Jay Camera here, and today I'm taking a look at the Lego Batman set 7884, Batman's Buggy, The Escape of Mr. Freeze, released in 2008, cost 10 US dollars, with 76 pieces. Here are the instructions, because there's no box this time. So we've got how to sort out the pieces, making the minifigures, and then the builds, smallest to biggest. You get the pieces right here. You get action and advertisements. And now on to the minifigures. Here is the 2008 version of Batman, based on the Christian Bale version seen in Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy, because 2008 is when The Dark Knight came out, so naturally they had to tie the sets in with the movie somehow, and this is their way of doing it. This is a decent Batman figure. Not my favourite, but it's not my least favourite either. Like, probably the most average Batman figure in the original theme. Like, third best, I think, the Michael Keaton version and the, like, the one from the video game are better. But it is better than a Dark Knight Returns version, in my opinion. I mean, it's not the most authentic to the movie, but it gets the job done with the darker grey and, like, the armoured printing and gold belt and the logo. It does look alright. I do think newer Batman figures based on this movie trilogy are more faithful and accurate, like the ones in the D2C Giants Tumblr sets. This figure's it got no back printing, no leg printing, and just one facial expression, just like the other Batmans. And I've, I don't know, uh, this is a common occurring thing with these sp specific 2008 Batman figures, is that the lines are very thick. Like, my other figures from this theme, like, none of them uh, uh, have lines that thick. And from what I've seen, it's mostly this 2008 figure. And this figure appears in... Three sets total, with this one included. And here is the villain of the set, Mr. Freeze. He's not in the Dark Knight. They probably just picked him because they want, like, in case you missed the Batcave set, here's another chance to get one of the characters from that set. And, I mean, it doesn't hold as much value because I got the Batcave set first, but I can see why this would be valuable to other people. It is a good-looking minifigure. One of the better freezers we've gotten. I think the 2013 version is the best we've gotten, but this one is a close second. It does have the best head, at the very least. He's got no head, like, back head printing. He, do he has no torso printing at all which I'm fine with because it's covered up by this backpack thing. It's exactly the same as the back cave figure, though I'm fine with that. In fact, I would prefer that because consistency is important, in my opinion. There is only one accessory in this set, that being this little blue diamond for Mr. Freeze to steal. There's two of them in the set. One of them is for the build, which you will see soon, and this other one's just a spare that Mr. Freeze got his hands on. If this can just focus. Beginning with the smaller build, we have Mr. Freeze's little go-kart. And it's cute, I guess. It's in the game, the Lego Batman video game that came out the same year. It does, it does look cool, it does somewhat fit Mr. Freeze. I would have preferred a truck, but this I'm willing to take. It's kind of plain and empty without Mr. Freeze on it. In fact, if you unplug this, 
it's even more plain. Like, it's just something, I guess. And it's... Well, I don't know what without this. So you kind of need to make it all together. Actually, let's let's talk about this. This this is a cool little build. And it just has a little plug hole here. And it's pretty wide, but as long as you have Mr. Freeze holding it, it's should be containable. It's got this electric lightning piece to summon the ice, which is pretty cool. Actually, let's test this out. As you can see, this works very well. Like, I really like this visual. And this is pretty good, because the back cave didn't really have anything to create the ice, which... I mean, I guess the set didn't technically have to do, but I'm, I'm glad they did add something new, so there's a little reason to get this set. Like, I won't get into this now, but... With that said, I do wish that this set included a little ice block. And also a little hench not a henchman for Mr. Freeze. Like in the Bat Cave set. Then again, you gotta get the Bat Cave somehow, I guess. Then again is Alfred. Mm, and Bruce Wayne. I do admittedly prefer the ice gun that he had in the Bat Cave set, but this is still a pretty good alternative that's different enough. That's also using the exact same piece. Here's the original Batcave freeze gun for comparison. And both of them also have like tubes, except they're facing the opposite side. Interesting. And here is Batman's vehicle, which has notably larger wheels at the back. I don't know why, but it does look cool. It has a really good mechanic being able to swing this on the fire, which is a bionicle piece, if I am correct. And it's got a little light. You can actually stand Batman up in a vehicle, which is, I think, the only Batman vehicle in the theme to do that. Especially as these older sets had the rough capes, which I've replaced mine with one of the newer, softer capes. It's very handy. And I do like, we've got like a little grapple thing. Not much to say. This isn't one of the best vehicles, though, because it's so small and... Did Batman really have a buggy in the comics? Like... I don't know if he did. I don't think he did. I could be wrong, but... Because I haven't seen... I haven't read every single comic out there, but... And a bit weird of a plan for Batman to use this to take down Mr. Freeze. But, yeah. So there you have it. That concludes the set. So this is a good set to get pieces and a cheap way to get the figures. If you've got the Batcave, though, in, like, the other 2008 sets with Batman, with, like, the Harley Quinn hammer truck and the Joker ice cream truck set, there's not much of a reason to get this set. Like, you just get it for the pieces. Like, if you want a vehicle for Mr. Freeze, like, that would be my reason to get this set. If you want something for him to ride from the original fame... Like, nowadays, he mostly just has, like, a mech and a little hoverboard thing, and that's it. So, yeah, this is a pretty good vehicle for that. And I guess if you want a way to freeze enemies, but you don't necessarily need that. It's still a cute little set. One of the weakest sets in the original theme, though. So... I give this the exact same score as the Dragster sets, 7.3 out of 10, I think I was. Thankfully, this is like one of the cheapest sets from the original line. So if you really want to get it, hopefully you won't be paying too much. With that said, the set doesn't offer that much, so it's still overpriced. That concludes today's video, and hope to see you in the next video. Bye.